morning everybody it's Gina welcome back I'm having my coffee this morning it's Monday morning here and I've got a couple of things to share with you guys um, I've decided today to tackle some of these project life cards that I've had in my stash forever I've got <clears throat> several boxes of these that I picked up on clearance at Joann's and then these were Tuesday morning you know we've all got uh, loads of these in our stash and they're just not getting used so today I thought it would be really fun to <clears throat> as a design team project for Tracy who is love junk journals on Etsy um, there's several of her kits that are just my go-to kits no matter what project I'm working on 98% of the time these are going to work and that is the faux tea cards this one's the shade of reds but I've got all of them um, I, I highly recommend this kit because I use it all the time and her tiny embellishments these are just genius She's scaled everything down, and I love these to um, add little extra touches to um, journal cards, tags, anything. And then the other one I use time and time again is the faux ephemera. She, I think she's got two of those kits out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I will put the link in the box below to what I'm using. But do check out her shop, because there's a lot of things that... Um, that I might have little bits and pieces of that um, you will find in there. Everything I'm going to use is going to be from Tracy's shop, so you will find it all there. <clears throat> so let's just jump in. Let me show you what I made. Um, as, a, as you can see, that's, that's the back of them because I've chosen uh, the ones that have got these kind of like a grid background because I think that's, or the, or the little spots, I think those are going to work really nice because it still offers you the journaling space so as you can see I've got a lot to work on um, but this is what I came up with and this is one of her little tea cards this is some of Tracy's uh, papers from I think this is the Renaissance kit I might be mistaken on that I've got some burlap behind there old button just uh, a little piece of uh, lace and then that's just a bit of like it's a heavy upholstery I don't know I just like the shade of it I thought it was pretty and then here again I've stitched around it and then these little tags are from her latest kit and I do not off the top of my head know the name of that but aren't those gorgeous they're like a watercolor um, <clears throat> image of some vintage roses and various flowers. Let me just show you the sheet. I've printed it out. Uh, matchbook minis, the florals. There we go. Well, that was handy. So there's um, what those look like. I love them because as I, as I said, they kind of look like um, watercolor. And then this is another one, her faux ephemera set too. So she does have a one and a two. And this is an awesome one as well. You can see you get the alteration tags. Because not all of us have access, especially if you live outside the U.S., you're going to struggle to get those alternation um, tags without paying heavy duty. So that's another reason I love these because um, for those of us who aren't living in the United States, um, that's a great, great alternative to getting your hands on those. Um, she's she, she comes out with a lot of stuff that... Um, you know, is easily accessible in the U.S., but she scans it and makes it available for us in digital, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's jump in. These are really quick and, and easy to make because you know I like quick and easy, um, and then you can just get on with, uh, with your journal. So getting started, <clears throat> what I found works best for me is just take a sheet of paper and my studio is in awful mess at the moment guys I uh, 
creating it is just ooh, bad in here and the thing is it was totally clean this weekend because I never leave <clears throat> at the end of the day I completely clean up so it was uh, it just five minutes and the place is just in a complete mess again but that's what happens when you're a crafter <laughs> so anyways I just glued that down um, use whatever glue of choice but I for this kind of thing I find the glue stick is totally fine and I'm just gonna run it up to the edge just because it's less to have to cut out So I hope everybody had a good weekend. I did some car booting yesterday. If you're not familiar with a car boot, um, it is similar to a swap in the U.S. Um, I, for one, have never been to a swap in the United States. Um, I've only ever been to yard sales, but <clears throat> I've been told that it's very much like a swap meet. Okay, I'm going to round those corners just because it's. I just think... It looks nicer if they're rounded. You don't have to do this step. Um, so yes, I ended up getting three of the vintage piano rolls um, for two pounds. I think I might, if I get the chance, guys, I might do just a very short haul because I did get some a few good items. Um, there's one in particular, but it'd be easier to show y'all in a video. So just inking that up. I'm not, I don't go crazy with it because you know I'm not really into the really dark um, stuff. And let's just take and glue this doily on there and then I'll cut it, cut that out. I'm just going to slap that on there. And then I'm also going to probably put that through the machine. So don't worry too, too much about those edges if you're running it through the machine. Because that's going to hold it down as well. And then I'm um, just going to trim that off. It, these are so easy. I And I just, I love sometimes, because you know last week I was working on those large journals. And I feel so burnt out. I'm like, okay, I already... <laughs> How pathetic is that after such a long break? Um, I just needed it. I've got to go back to something small again because it's. I'm finding it too overwhelming. And when it gets to that point, what you know? Why? Why? Why put yourself through it? That's the way I feel about it. So I'm stepping back from it again. Okay, now these are <clears throat> Tracy's paper. I believe this was Silhouette. Love those papers. Fantastic. So I'm going to take that bird. Somehow I'm going to keep him. This, actually, I've decided I'm going to make this journal card horizontal. That way I can keep that, that guy intact. Now, the next thing I want to do is get some of this music. Note on there. So, yes, uh, bear with me, guys. I'm my focus is, is really bad again, so if I repeat myself, I uh, am truly sorry. Um, I know that that can be very annoying, but I cannot help it. You know, when you reach a certain age, uh, the focus is just not there. Um, and most of you probably understand what I'm talking about, but... I do apologize if I, I apologize if I do repeat. I, I don't intend to, but when I'm trying to <clears throat> create, it, it makes it particularly bad because I'm focusing and then I'm losing track of what I've said to you guys. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> and uh, I know I've had a couple people leaving comments that I I'm, I don't talk loud enough, and I'm sorry about that. But I I don't. Um, and I can't change that. I really am sorry. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Oh, gosh. You know, the dilemma I'm going to have is covering him up. I don't want to cover him up. 
Well, you know what? I actually think... Oh, I tell you what, before I put him down, this is what I'm going to do, because actually I've decided he's going to be my focal point. This one's just... Um, so I'm going to just take some thread and wind that around about three times and then snip that off. Yeah, I've already changed how I'm going to do this guy because he was unexpected, uh, which is nice. It's nice when you get something different. This is going to be perfect for a um, nature, nature journal. Don't have any of those. I haven't had time to really plan out my journals. Because um, when I got back, you know, there's certain things I needed to to do with the house and all. And I do like to, to really, at night, I know this sounds crazy, but sometimes at night I, um, I dream uh, about journaling. And I get a lot of my ideas. I know that sounds just absolutely crazy, but... It's the truth. Hmm, I wish that bow would show a bit more. Oh, well. He's going to go down there. Actually, I'm going to cut those off because I don't want them to hang over. I mean, you could have put it on top of it. Maybe I should have, but that's okay. I'm happy with how it's come out because I like I like him as just a um, isn't that a cute card? And how simple how simple is that to make? And actually, you could, thinking about it, the way that one's come out, I'm probably inclined to make that as a um, a pocket, maybe, rather than a journaling card. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, let me sit that over. Let's make another one, because I feel like I kind of got sidetracked on that one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I should have done this in advance, but uh, as I said, I'm not that organized yet. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get much more organized in the next few weeks, but um, I do always struggle when I've been away from creating. It takes me a while to get back into the flow of things, and then, then I can work pretty efficiently, but right now, boy... I, I'm just struggling with it, um, you know, because like I said, I'm bouncing back and forth with stuff around the house. I did finally get to do my house this weekend. Paul kept it really nice while I was away, but um, I, this is another weird thing. I, I actually love doing housework. Um, it, I find it really relaxing. So um, that was nice for me to get to finally go through. And like I said, I did a lot of organizing because I'm consolidating everything into the studios. So it was nice. It was for me. That's I find that a relaxing weekend. I know that sounds really, really bizarre, but that's just the way I'm made. Um, okay, let me get a little. I'm gonna put a little bit of doily on this one as well. I'm trying not to make, I don't want everything to end up looking the same. So I won't use the same elements on all of them, but this one I'm going to go ahead. Oh, this, some of these doilies do not want to stick. Probably didn't have enough glue down there. <coughs> Yeah, it's nice when you can uh, take something that's been in your drawer. I've been hoarding these now for, wait, I bought them, 
because it's what everybody was into at that time. And, and I never really used them, and I've just been hanging on to them, and I was so glad to find a use for them because I hate to waste anything. All right, let me put a little bit of this music sheet on. Okay, so these are Tracy's Old English Garden Flowers. I'm just going to use this one off of it. I like the looks of that flower. And so these are old cigarette cards. And what she's done is she's scanned the front and the back of these. And if I have these just on their own, and I often will take and glue this to the back so that it is like a, a true vintage um, cigarette card. But on this, I'm going to just layer it. This is what I'm talking about. You can glue them so that it actually is like an old one. I, I, they're just soft. So cute, so cute. So I'm actually just gonna to put those like that, <coughs> and then I'm gonna run that through the machine. This is why I love her um, these kits because it can just in just a few steps you can um, create some really nice. Um, nature and vintage or let me rephrase that nature or vintage um, ephemera and I'll show you at the end a few other things I made um, all right guys let me Okay, let me run to the machine. I'll put that through and stitch around it, and I'll be right, right back. Okay, guys, <clears throat> you can see what it looks like now that I've added the stitching. It still leaves you room to journal back there. Um, the next thing I did, I've just grabbed little bits and pieces from my screen scrap uh, drawer. I've got a drawer that I just take all the little bits of fabrics and trims and I just pile it in there and I've grabbed this little button and just very quickly I'm going to stitch that and we will have another one of these ready to go. edges not edges the ends get that out of the way okay and I chose that color because it kind of it picked that up out of the flower so I thought that came out cute Oh, I know what I didn't do. Oh, well, I didn't round the corners on this one, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it. I don't want, like I said, everything to look the same. And then I'm just going to show you guys really quickly some of the other little things that I've made. Let me get a drink of coffee here. Okay. Okay. 
so there we go that's how that's come out and let you see a close-up of that I'm really pleased with that that's cute and that you saw that's super quick and obviously at home you're gonna make that a lot faster than I did now this one I've already decided I want to come back around with some black stitching but I like that but I get I think that's now going to become a pocket rather than a journal card because of all of this lin uh, linen thread on the back so I'm going to glue that down run the machine around that and that'll be a pocket so so there again you know it's still a good use of um oh I know what I wanted to do on that sorry let me finish this one out these are some little phrases I had in my stash let me just add that to that bird one that's I think that's what that needs to finish that off so yeah, you could use them as journal cards. Um, you can make little pockets out of them. And then that's the ones I showed you at the beginning. So there's some ideas on that. Now some other things <coughs> I made um, earlier, and these aren't Project Life cards, but I'll just show you so how you could use Tracy's kits in other ways. This is just going to be a journal card. And then I've added the same elements from the kits I showed you before. And then this was one of the little mini bags. And I've made that by just doing the same kind of layering and those same kits that just shows you. And then a tag's going to go in there. That's going to be so cute in a journal. And again, this one, it, this could either be a pocket or a journal card tucked in a pocket. Same kits, but it just shows you. Um, a lot of different ways to use those kits. So I'm going to put the link to the kits that I used in the description box below for you guys to check it out. I hope you've enjoyed that today and I hope it will inspire you to get those um, Project Life cards out that you've been hoarding and I mean, who's going to, you know, <laughs> let's start using them up. So you're going to see a lot of projects in the, in the upcoming weeks with me uh, upcycling these. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope everybody has a great week and I'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye.